chemistry concept and today we are going to talk about faraday's law okay what is the first law of uh, faraday's first law of electrolysis say that the amount of chemical reaction which occur at any electrode during the electrolysis by a current is proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the electrolyte now what happens during a uh, during electrolysis that we pass the elect we pass the electricity and some amount of substances produced okay just like let's say uh i have zno4 cuso4 i dip zinc electrode on this this side i dip copper electrode and the external potential is more than 1.1 volt then this cell acts as a yes electrolytic cell and zinc is liberated at this side what happens that zn2 positive takes electron and get converted into yes zinc so zinc is liberated here so this amount of zinc liberated or at cathode what will happen that copper will convert into copper 2 positive and two electron will be released so in electrolytic cell the amount of reaction taking place at any of the two electrodes or amount of the substance uh, uh, liberated at the electrode is actually the weight the amount of substance liberated or produced is directly proportional to the amount of electricity passed through that solution amount of charge passed through that solution and charge means current into time this is the charge okay now to remove this proportionality sign i use a constant z so it becomes z into i into t where z is electrochemical equivalent for any cell and it is defined as amount of substance liberated when 1 ampere of the current is passed through the cell for 1 second this is faraday's first law of electrolysis the second law says let's say i have cuso4 solution i have znso4 solution i have nacl solution and so on and if i pass electricity three through all the three then will the amount of metal produced be same at all the three uh, cells all the three electrolytes or will it be different and if it would be different then what would be the order then this question is answered by faraday's second law and it says that amount of substance liberated or deposited will be directly proportional to their equivalent mass that means w1 upon w2 is equal to e1 upon e2 it is directly related to their equivalent weights or equivalent masses now let's try to solve this problem which is saying that cuso4 is electrolyzed for 10 minutes that means time is 600 seconds current is 1.5 ampere now the reaction says okay so what would be the charge charge is it that is 600 second into 1.5 ampere which is 900 second ampere second or 900 coulomb now the reaction is copper two positive taking two electrons to produce copper so one mole that means 63 gram of copper is produced by two moles of electron two moles electron means 2 into 96487 coulomb of electricity because 96487 is the charge on one mole electrons and this is also known as one faraday of charge so if 900 coulomb of electricity is passed which we have passed through the solution the amount of copper produced would be 63 divided by 2 into 96487 into 900 that is 0.2936 gram of copper would be produced stay tuned for more videos on organic inorganic and physical chemistry